Hi, I'm Alex and welcome to Pucks and Paperbacks. Today I am having Bookopoly pick my May TBR. I did a TBR game last month and I had a lot of fun so I want to bring them back so I took out my Bookopoly board and started playing. I have a couple videos about Bookopoly. I have a tutorial on how I made my board so that'll be up above and I also have a vlog where I had Bookopoly pick my TBR so I'll have it down below. Now let's get into the video. Let's do this. For some reason I don't have community chess cards. Maybe I lost them. I'm not sure but I'm just going to play with what I have. <laughs> okay here's my little Spider-Man guy. Two. One, two. Okay. Gift. So a book that I was gifted that actually works because I have an advanced reader's copy or like review copy that I have to read this month. So that could work for that. Okay. I've got five. One, two, three, four, five. I have to pick a chance card. I didn't even shuffle these, did I? Read a book with an ocean on the cover. Okay, so that's book two, three, one, two. Um, so I got community chest. I don't have community chests, so let's roll again. <laughs> four. One, two, three, four. Library book. Okay, that works for me. This will be my last roll. Four. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Free picking. Uh, free picking. Free parking, I believe, is a freebie, I believe. Two. Yay, sports book. Let's go over my TBR. For Gifted, I am going to be reading The Silence of Being Angry by Nicole Mellaby. I was actually sent this for review and I am super excited to read it because they also sent me her book, How to Become a Planet, and her books are just all about kids with mental health. This one features anger. This one talks about depression. This will be my main priority for the month because it comes out on May 10th. I'm also going to be participating in Asian Readathon created by Cindy. The links for that will be down below. May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. The Readathon happens throughout the whole month of May. There are a few challenges and I am just going to highlight some of the books I would like to read but I'm not going to go over my whole TBR because I like to mood read and I have some options but I'll just talk about a few in this video. I lent it on sports and I'm planning on reading The Comeback by E.L. Shen. This is by a Chinese author. It's a middle grade about figure skating and I am just super excited. I've had this on my TBR for a while and I just never got around to it. It's on Hoopla so I'm hoping that I can get to it this month. Then I landed on free parking which is to pick any book. It's a freebie and this is Fiona and Jane by Jean Chen Ho. I bought this in my video where I bought book products from TikTok ads it'll be up above if you want to watch it but this is a book that I have been wanting to read. There's a prompt for the Asian Readathon to read a book that was highly recommended or highly rated and I've seen this highly recommended so I want to read it. It is about two Taiwanese American women as they navigate friendship, sexuality, identity, and heartbreak over two decades. Then I landed on library book and this is up for interpretation because a lot of books I am getting from the library as I do. I have a few options for this because I will be using Hoopla for Asian Readathon and I'm going to go to my library and get some things but I have two options. One is Convenience Store Woman which is on Hoopla and this would complete the Asian Readathon prompt to read a book by an Asian woman or older and Cindy recommended this. I've been wanting to read this anyway and so this is just a perfect time to read it but I also want to read The Perfect Escape by Suzanne Park. Jesse the Reader recommended this like a few years ago and ever since I've been wanting to read it. It is about an escape room I believe 
some type of scenario like that and I know that it's on Hoopla but I think I can also physically get it and I've just been wanting to read it so hopefully I can read it this month. Naturally as I was about to film this the mowing begins. Hello, let's talk about the rest of my TBR because I have been searching for a book with an ocean on the cover and I think I have some options but if you have any recommendations please feel free to leave them down below. But here are some of my options. My first option is a middle grade and this is The Mighty Heart of Sunny St. James by Ashley Herring Blake. I love this author. I haven't read her in a while so I could pick this one up on my overdrive. I also was sent a copy of this book, Consider the Octopus, which is also a middle grade, by Nora Raleigh Baskin and Gay Posner. And it says, two kids, a goldfish, and the great Pacific garbage patch. What could go wrong? So you can see on the cover, there's the ocean, water, and stuff. This was my prompt so I can go with what I want. So those are my two options that I could read but if you have a recommendation feel free to leave it down below. And that is it for my May TBR. So May is a big month for me. It's my book two birthday, my birthday, and the Stanley Cup playoffs are happening. And so Let's see what reading I get done because I'll probably be watching hockey like every night. If you are going to be watching the playoffs, let me know who you're rooting for. I am rooting for the Florida Panthers solely because my team that I'm a fan of, the Philadelphia Flyers, our former captain who was traded a couple months ago is on that team and I just want him to win it all and I'll be very upset because he's not winning it with us. And then I'm going to be happy for them, but it's just going to be a lot of mixed emotions. The Stanley Cup playoffs are my favorite. Like that is my favorite celebration. I just love it. I love just seeing them hoist a cup. It's my favorite thing. Let me know what you're going to be reading in May if you'll be reading any of the books that I mentioned. And if you have a recommendation for a book with an ocean on the cover, feel free to leave it down below because I'm searching. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye!